visit www.ashbridgesbay.ca backslash BE dash whiteboard for a navigable interface to all of our whiteboard drawings. Welcome to our drawing, Day 1 C-Series Server Deployment for Cisco Collaboration Overview. In this drawing, we'll provide an overview of the Day 1 tasks required to deploy C-Series servers to support Cisco Collaboration apps. C-Series servers are easy to deploy and manage. The BE is even easier. Let's look at the role of C-Series in Cisco Collaboration deployments. For Enterprise 20, our collaboration apps are virtualized and run on networks supported by the Production Collab A and Production Collab B networks. Cisco collaboration apps are virtualized and run as virtual machines on hypervisors, VMware ESXi hosts. The ESXi hosts are installed and configured on C-Series servers. Enterprise 20 uses the BE6000 medium density server C220 M3S SFF TRC number 2. Deployment of other C-Series servers are very similar and we'll discuss other options as soon as we can. There are three options for UC on C-Series. The first is Business Edition, or BE. These C-Series servers come pre-built and partially configured based on the BE TRCs. RAID is configured. ESXi is installed and licensed. The necessary software and OVAs are deposited in the data store for you must follow special BE co-residency rules. Cisco BE servers are super easy to deploy, are fully supported, and provide guaranteed performance. Tested reference configurations. These C-Series servers come pre-built based on the TRCs. You need to configure RAID. You need to install and license ESXi. You need to download the ISOs and OVAs. And general co-residency rules always apply. Cisco C-Series servers based on TRCs are easy to deploy, fully supported, and also provide guaranteed performance. Finally, we have specs-based. You devise your own server build based on your requirements. You can do things not found in the TRCs, such as install ESXi on the Flex flashcard and use IP storage. You need to do everything yourself. General co-residency rules always apply. Specs-based solutions are not so hard to deploy and are very flexible, but you need to know what you're doing because you are designing the solution yourself. On day one, we deploy the C-Series server itself. The tasks for this are rack and cable, configure CIMC, run diagnostics, upgrade firmware, this is an optional task, configure RAID, and set up server monitoring. On day one, we also deploy the hypervisor, our ESXi host. Install the ESXi host. Configure ESXi host using the console. Configure the ESXi host using the vSphere client. And set up ESXi host monitoring. Not all of the C-Series deployment tasks are required for BE6000 and BE7000 deployment. Some of these tasks have been done for you by Cisco. We'll run through everything for completeness so that those of you not using the BE can see the whole process. Even if you are deploying a BE, you should still understand the tasks not necessary for its immediate deployment. For example, you may want to upgrade the firmware at some point or increase the size of the RAID array. This is the network we'll deploy for Enterprise 20. If you have a single BE, then you do not need the Collab B VLAN. The network is described in detail in the drawing, Day 1, UC on C-Series Rack and Cabling. At the end of Day 1, we have networking. The CIMC port is connected to the Production Hardware VLAN. The Production Hypervisor, Production Collab A, and Production Collab B are configured on the trunks to the new servers. Corresponding VMware port groups are configured on the server. At the end of day one, the ESXi hosts are installed and configured, and we are ready to install our UC apps. The server is racked and cabled correctly, CIMC is configured, diagnostics are good, Correct firmware is installed. RAID is configured. The ESXi host is installed and configured. And software delivered with BE is backed up. Coming up next, Day 1, Cisco Collaboration on C-Series Server Deployment, Rack and Cable. Thanks for watching.